Okay, back again. Sorry about the abrupt cut on the last one, but the thing has popped up and I have no idea what I'm doing anymore. I think I'm doing this? I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, this doesn't count as a free time activity, by the way. I always have time for to cook for you. God effing... I'm trying not to cuss anymore. And it's suddenly really hard. My mouth gapes open a little bit at her casual omission. I feel my heart start to beat faster. You need all the home-cooked meals you can get. You'll have a much easier time getting a girlfriend once you've bulked up a bit. Ow, my pride. I shut my mouth with a grimace. Snowball's chance in hell. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm gonna st try to stop cussing. Immediately after, the game, like, just throws a casual hell in here. Hang on. We reach the apartments and head up to the third floor where we live. Mika's puffing with the, with exact with what exertion by the time we reach the second landing and I feel a little guilty for not offering to carry her groceries still her smile is genuinely sweet when she says goodbye at her front door I'll bring by some stew later he got a good thanks for walking me home yeah uh, we live next door I unlock and enter the apartment placing my shoes on the rack by the door my apartment is surprisingly pink. Home sweet home. There's nothing wrong with pink, it's just... It's oddly pink. I don't know. Also, what's with the curtains? They don't look like they, they should be able to... Well, do anything. It's weird. I better not get a pop-up. My voice sounds small and depressed. Uh, time to log some hours into Celeste. Okay! Before anything else happens to remind me how pathetic I am. Ah! I push both buttons for some reason. Hours later, I'm feeling pretty good about myself. It seems to be sometime at night. <laughs> Mika's beef stew is a distant memory now and the empty dishes are stacked top on top of the incomplete homework assignments I should really get started on and I glance at the clock and realize it's already midnight oh my god crap I'm gonna fall asleep in class again it's hard to feel set feel upset about it while staring at <laughs> Nair's character screen where the word Max stares back at me in big green letters all over the player level. Happy that I achieved my goal for the day, I saved and logged off. I realize, I realize belatedly that I'm still wearing the, my uniform that I, when I try to on top of the covers to get some shed eye. Screw it. I don't sense I uh, will, <laughs> will l overlook a wrinkled uniform which can get me to stay awake and the whole day for once. With that final thought uh, in, my, in mind, I feel myself drift peacefully into slumber. My dreams decide to pick up right from where they left off. You better be okay now, useless. Oh, um... She looked different last time, right? I'm not hallucinating this. Instead of reaching, reacting to the new nickname, I'm pretty sure I earned it by this point. I placed a hand on the fully healed wound above my stomach. That was my last healing spell. So if we get mortally injured by the lich, we're shit out of luck. Again, I'm like, oh, I'll stop cussing. And then this game. Why am I doing this game? She so delivers a quick performance. Fuck it. Smack to my shoulder and sneers. Don't make me regret it. Why is your character a complete... Well, you know, 
Eh, fuck it. Why is your com Why did you make your character a bitch? She shoulders her weapon and leads the way towards the set of stairs, spiraling down to the lower level of the keep. I follow you, wondering why the layout of the corridor seems so hauntingly familiar. Probably because you just spent... Well, if... I don't know what time Japanese schools let out, so... Let's assume three-ish, around the same time American high schools go out of class. Like, let out. Uh, you s I'm assuming you spent till like four, give an hour to walk home at minimum. Uh, maybe minus 30 minutes for actually eating. You spent a good four, uh, at least four hours. Then A good, about eight hours playing a game. Good luck. It hits me that I'm dreaming. No, I would never have guessed. I'm lucid, but this is definitely a dream. As we continue to trek down, or the details come to me slowly, as if I'm dragging a waterlogged boat up from the bottom of a lake. Good luck with that. We in a, we enter a short, dark car corridor that ends in a portal of swirling purple energy. Nereth approaches it fearlessly, even as the final piece snaps into place within my memory. Game. I'm in the... No, you're dreaming. This is the final level of the Lynch Lord's Key... Oh god, I can't... I hate that so much. Right before the botch, with some which means we're about to walk through the portal right into a vulnerable minefield of magical traps. Nith is almost with reach and he gives me a strange look as the two of us pass through the portal. Snow turning back. Now, if there of us take another step, we're going to end up as a smear of charcoal on the floor. Go out of... F hey, wait, Nith, I... Kn Horrified my suddenly uh, lunging, stepping, slapping her hand painful across my mouth. Her voice is somewhere between a shout and a whisper. She whispered, Are you mentally challenged? You're going to get us both killed, you stupid piece. A dark, dis disembodied voice begins chanting at the opposite end of the quarter. Clearly, without even setting off the traps, we've been noticed. Shit! Yeah, she attempted to shoot me. Look, pure murder before we both engulf with dark magic. Flames spout down the hall, shorting, shooting towards us. That seems absolute certain. I wake up, gasping like a fish out of water. I can still taste the smoke in my mouth, feel magic. Tre I English is not working with me, people. Crawling around my skin. Then I feel the unmistakable prick of a sharp metal edge against my threat. What have you done? I have no idea what- wait, what? Attach the blade is a s snarkly, snarky purplish gray arm. Attach that arm is one seriously pissed off elven warlock. Um, I was- I want to shake my head in disbelief, but even my shock I realized I- don't want to accidentally decapitate myself. Impossible. No shit. I'm still dreaming. No, I have to be. But I don't flatter myself with my <laughs> that my imagination could come up with some kind of bullshit like this. With her, ba the way her badly singed clothing are hanging from her body in tatters, barely concealing the important bits. And still smoking for, smoking from the fires in the dream, her eyes dart around the room like a cornered animal. About to ask how she, a character I created for a fictional video game, came to be standing in my bedroom and she suddenly, suddenly speaks, speeding me to the pond. Send me back right now or I swear I will gut you where you...
Sorry, we got directly at 10 minutes. So, yeah, uh, the voice actress here is kind of weird. Her thread echoes throughout the silence of the apartment. A slightly hysterical laugh bubbles up, but I manage to quash it before I piss off the elf any further. I realize I need to defuse the situation, preferably before something messy. I open my mouth to speak. Well, I'm not really standing, so... My voice ca comes out in a weak, whimpered tone that would be embarrassing if I wasn't completely scared shitless. Oh, my mistake. Maybe I'll just disembowel you and wear your innards as a necklace instead. Okay! Feel my skin go cold at the deadly promise in her eyes. She applies pressure to the blade at my throat, but not enough to actually break the skin yet. I chose my next words carefully since I know there's a good likelihood they could be my last. Fuck you! Try to convince her of it. No. Explain the situation calmly. I don't know how you got here. I was asleep. And this happened. Okay, you know, no reason to believe me since my life is on the line, but I swear I have no idea how you got here. Nurse's eyes narrow into an angry slit that she make a noise I could only describe as a hiss. I was sleeping in my dream, we were in the Lynch Lord's Keep, we set off a trap, and now you're here, somehow. A dream? You expect me to believe that? Then why the hell would I- why the hell would I make this up? Her arm tense. I haven't expected her to lop my head off just out of spite, quantum, con <coughs> consequences and lack of answers be damned. You think I can't recognize evil magic when I see it? Uh, you do realize I'm asleep. That I am currently just in a bed, right? Look around. Does any of this stuff look familiar to you? If I had something against you, wouldn't I kill you all right? If I was trying to trap you here, why would I place myself within stinging rage of your sword? Nerd continues to glare, but the tip of her way for. A tip of her weapon wavers against my skin. Thank Kami, logic is winning. From what I can guess, you somehow cross over from your game into my world. Her sword arm drops completely at my words. She frowns in consideration, but the wind seems to have gone right out of her sails. Feeling a little safer, I finally stop finding my gaze. St Dumbass! Uh, in my world. And in my world, women usually wear more clothes. The non... I fucking can't pronounce that. Is apparently just a push to start. FUCKING SHIT! The wild swing... Nath dispolished the wooden... Dismol... Dismol... Blah, 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 blah. Dismolish it. Fuck it. The wooden headboard above my bed. Taking a good sized chunk of the mattress with it. Well, thanks for that. You just... Before I can speak, she takes out the chair in front of my desk next, roasting it to cinder with her magic, which I'm alarmed to note works just fine in the real world. Scared that I might get caught in an unlucky backswing, either by design or accident, I force myself to speak once more. I'll send you back as soon as I can figure out how, I swear. Finally get her attention. Either that or she worked up her anger enough to hear reason again. She looks up and clenches her jaw. Beneath her buster I can see she's unease. I wouldn't go so far as to call her scared, but she definitely looks uncertain. We'll figure this out, okay? If you were able to come here, then sh there should be a way back too, right? Right. Until she... I wait until she nods gruffly. Cool, in the meantime, you can stay here with me. Cause why not? I have a murderous bitch in my house now. Lovely. She gives me a hard, condescending look that makes it clear it was never in question. One smooth moment, she sheaths her weapon and takes a seat on the partly, partially destroyed bed next to me. Fine. I believe you. 
I wouldn't. She crosses her own huffly, looks extremely put out. Uh, her a the action draws my attention to her chest, unfortunately, and I look away with a blush. Good, so I'll just find you some clothes to wear and- Don't be an idiot. Where can I get some replacement armor? Oh, uh, we don't wear armor. There's no armor here. I mean, people don't wear armor in this- in this world unless it's cosplay or something. And even then, it's cheap, flimsy materials that only meant to look at- Wait, what are you doing? Wait, what the hell are you doing? Uh, shit. Nerf strides commonly to the sliding glass door that leads to my apartment's balcony before I can even finish speaking. She steps out and leans over the rail, looking at something below. Where do those lead? What are those le uh, Sign of the apart- She points at the other balconies lining the side of the apartment. I blink in confusion. What is she planning exactly? Can it wait till morning? Those glass doors lead to other people's apartment. Their homes. Like this one. Except, you know, not with a s chair that's on fire or a bed that's broken. Bitch. She nods curly. Seems to come to a decision. <coughs> oh, that's fun. That's all the warning I get before she launches herself over the side of the railing into, the into one of the other balconies. I jucked it to my... What the... F I feel my jaw drop its horror. She casually slides the door open and lets herself in the stranger's apartment. Please let them be asleep. Please let- Please God, let them- I'm beg- Please God, I'm begging you. Just do this one small favor. Minutes tick by like hours and I stand, frozen like an idiot, with her elf- elfy head to appear out of the darkness. I realize I'm sweating. Actually fitting- physically sweating from anxiety. Why when I'm about to call the cops, certain she murder everyone in their beds, a dark female form shoots out of the neighbor's doorway and leads leaps up to my balcony. Without even looking at me, Neth perts, pushes in the house and drops her loot on the floor of the bedroom. I finally get a good look at it. I feel a tremendous head headache <laughs> creeping in the back of my skull. There's some questionable leather that has. Wait, what? Realize some questionable leather that appears to be from an expensive couch. Besides it, there's some metal rungs around the shower. On most shower curtains, some heavily. something drapes. <laughs> A whole assortment of metal odds and ends that she lightly took from front and light fixtures. Not a bad haul, huh? Now where do you keep your leather working equipment? Oh my fucking god. I felt numb. Curiously, wonderfully numb. When my voice finally comes it sounds dead, even to my own ears. You can't wear this stuff, Neff. She glares at me, crossing her arms, pu puffing herself up threatening. And why the hell not? Well, for one, it's thievery. I tried to tell you, people don't wear things like that here. You stand out more than you already do. She's grayish purple, has blue hair, and two really long ears. I don't think it matters what she's wearing. She's going to stand the fuck out. At least, the owner of those uh, At the very least, the owner of those items will probably recognize them, and I'll be the one who gets in trouble. Her response is throw up her arms in the air and make a disgust sound. Ugh, of all the gutless, cowardly... Fine. It's your job to get me whatever passes for proper clothing around here, then. Yeah, you're an idiot. A little surprised, but grateful she that she cri cri uh, caved so easily, I quickly stomp some feeling back in my feet, turn around to my dresser, grab my largest big baggiest t-shirt, uh, I can't sleep in that, f you can sleep in that for tonight, it should be more than comfortable with those ripped, than those ripped leathers. I'm gonna stop here. 
拜。